Good afternoon guys and girls and anyone that follows my little YouTube channel. How are you all doing? It's uh, the weekend after the bank holiday. So today is 6th of April, Saturday, and I'm out today. Um, I'm doing uh, not one birthday party, I'm doing two. I'm doing twins. I'm doing two ladies, twins. Um, there is their ATF actually. Uh, the, one of the daughters is organising it all. I'm not too sure if it's a surprise. I haven't found that out, actually. Uh, I don't believe it is. Um, it's about, if it's 15 minutes away, it's 15 minutes away. So it's a nice local one. It uh, finishes at 11. Um, I know it's got a stage. And um, there was a debate originally about me going on the floor somewhere because they wanted to use a projector screen that's actually on the stage to project images, as people sometimes do for birthday parties. But they decided not to do that, so I'm on the stage, I believe. So I'll find out when I get there. So, yes, yeah, so it's a twin birthday party of the two ladies. Uh, it's their 80th. And um, so what I normally do, as you will know, is check the weather out in Northamptonshire. Well, Northampton, where I am. And it's warm. It's about 18 degrees. It's, it's warm. Sun's not out. Um, but it is, it is a warm day. It's going to be a warm evening, I believe. Some parts of the UK, unfortunately, have got this... Um, Girl, I can't, Kathleen is it? Kathleen girl? Is I think we're going to get bits of it tomorrow. Um, so hopefully things don't start flying around. Uh, but yeah, so that's the weather report here from uh, where I am in Northampton. A nice uh, warm day. Um, it's about 18 degrees according to the thermometer in the garden. Sun's not out and I've not loaded up yet. I don't really need to leave till about uh, half past four really, quarter to five. If I get there at five, Start at seven, give yourself a two hour setup, chill out a bit, take a bit of video. Um, and so, so I've not, uh, set, I've not uh, loaded up, it's all ready to be loaded. And um, it'd be the same old uh, kit as you saw in my previous video, but I've now got the uh, Equinox Spectre, uh, Spectre Pricks, are they called? Uh, two LED tubes to, uh, to just go in the front. I could try that out today for the first time. And um, yeah, I've added it to my DMX Go, so let's see how that all works for today. So yes, so I'll catch you on the other side. So tonight I'm on stage, as you can see, as I said, I've got my FTBX Lite 12s, I've got my cam metal stands, Gravity LS33s, LBs, the Econ Alex, the Gorilla Combi Stand, and same that side, try to do the best I can with the cables. Um, I did say about my Equinox uh, Spectra picks, what are they called, to go in the front. I forgot them. Naughty me. I forgot them. So let's swap to the front and see what's around the back. Would you believe there's only one socket there? In this whole area, there's only one socket. <laughs> right, so on the back here, um, I just got the switch box. I brought it with me because it's in my bag anyway. Um, so yeah, so. All the empties are in the room actually. So that's my new Mark Extent Express. Um, I've got a uh, Fire 7 tablet, just in case I need Spotify. Uh, my DMX Go is on. I don't know if you can see, but it's bright there, but it's just blue, just slow blue circles. My Virtual DJ uh, Pro, I haven't updated it, I'm leaving it as it is. I like it as it is, I'm not updating it. It's not even connected. This that laptop has been connected to the internet since I showed you guys I was updating it back in December. I've not updated it. It's off, it's off, it's off the internet. So just leave it, everything's working, it's fine. My fix, it's not broken, right? So that's really about it. Uh, that's the stage stuff, it's a deep stage, but one in one socket. I've got some of my empties over here, I've got my bag with keys and wallet, spare laptop, um, spare mixer. I bought an extra reel, it's been two reels. Uh, done the best I can with the cables. This is my view looking out. There's the food on that side, there's a bar over there. It was laid out. It's got a bit of background music, supposed to start seven. So that's uh, got pen and paper, mouse, torch, Sony headphones, phone. So the tablet I use just in case I need Spotify. I know all the legalities, but if somebody wants a song, I might be good to disappoint them. In fact, there is a song uh, they wanted, uh, Tommy Still song, which I don't have, which is on Spotify. So, you know, it's their birthday. Why not? So, yeah, so the Helix. Uh, 100 what ones got a gravity clips on it yeah so this i had in my bag anyway i've only got two lights on it there's the dmx my dmx go transmitter down there cable just on the on the 
stage. So this is the hall. It's a War Memorial Hall, 1956. It's in Doddington, which is or Great Doddington, which is about 20, 10, 15 minutes, if that, 12 minutes, if that, where I live. Uh, that's the hall. Um, I'm going to use that bit there to exit because there's an extra room there, which I didn't know about. That's where I got my rubbish. There's my car. There's a public park. People live down here. There's a little road, little path road. Um, in, it's in between houses, actually. If I say the, the access to this is in between two, some houses. So hopefully everyone's going the right way, right? So people live here. As soon as we've got finished, 11 o'clock, there's no limiter in there. But yeah, there's a little lack of power supplies. I'm surprised. The, the stage is quite big, really. But yeah, I didn't know about this uh, bit. I thought it was a separate building but uh, that actually is a separate room which backs onto the stage so all my empties are in there and I'll use that to come out so yeah so that's that's where we are it's a cool breeze yeah I forgot to bring those uh, Equinox uh, Spectra bricks <laughs> I left them <laughs> never mind next time eh next week so they've got a buffet a buffet along here and uh, there's the bar on here, um, there is birthday cakes, it's in the birthday cake. There's pictures of the two girls, they're twins. Celebrate 80 years. 80 years. And, more pictures. and we've got more um, balloons here. A little table here, that's where the cakes are going, presumably. <coughs> and pictures of girls, birthday girls. And this is it, the log before the storm. So yeah, so uh, that's the stage again. Yeah, so there's a little room, if I just go up here. Yeah, so this is a sort of like uh, next to the stage. Um, this is another room here. This is the um, bit I showed you from the outside, where it's obviously the... I thought this was a separate building when I came in. Uh, this is called the Elliot Room. Battle of Britain Week, 1990. That wasn't Battle of Britain Week. I oh, was celebrating Battle Britain. Oh, it's 10 to 7. There's a little kitchen in here. I thought it was a toilet, there's a little kitchen, kitchenette. So all my empties are here. Yeah, I just found a disabled toilet, right? <laughs> so that goes out to the main hall. And these steps go back onto the stage, which I almost fell on there. And there's a door there to cut the stage off. And I'm behind here. I just caught up with a girl that her uh, name's Carol Bookman, that's one of the daughters of uh, the mother of two women. And it is a surprise birthday party. I, thought, I forgot to ask her that when she talked to me, but it is a surprise. Um, they're coming in about four past seven, both of them, with one of the husbands. Um, yes, they said they want the food to be back all the way, because it finishes at 11. The dad, is, uh, the, father, the, the husband of one of them wants to do a little speech, present some flowers, uh, apparently. Um, but yeah, so we've got a mix of age groups here, we've got a younger crowd over here, and we've obviously got older people, slightly older people at the back. I've got to play this on a given preference, and a lot of them are, a lot of them are like, I've got, so that's what see, I've got Tommy Steele, Billy Joe Spears, Joe Loss, uh, a bit of Elvis, Brenda Lee, Jim Reeves, uh, Bobby Darren, don't know if anyone knows who the people are. This stupid spotlight over there and there. Just this one sort of pointed straight at me. <laughs> Blinded by the light, as Manfred Man said. Straight on the stage, I suppose, if they're doing performance here, I suppose that's it, but I don't know how you switch it off. I'm still flabbergasted, I've only got one socket on the whole stage. We're just waiting now. Given the. I prepped them up. Just waiting now. Thank you. 
Load a few of the songs that are requested on it on the side list. Um, I'll say Tommy still never played that before, dear me. It was half a sixpence, I think I played years ago. But it's a mix of songs they wanted, obviously they're 80 years old. Um, there's a table they've gone now, they've all gone out. Um, that's a bit of a younger group, so good to see what they do. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, surprise! Well, they're all queuing up for the food, they'll all be over themselves, they'll sit down having their food. The two birthday girls are supposed to sit over there, I believe. One of them there with her husband. Um, yeah, the other thing I didn't do, I didn't bring my, I didn't have to use my screens because, again, the height, if I elevated it, the speakers would be too high. Um, we tried to get people, the speakers at people's ear level, the level of their ears. Uh, even this minimum height, it's only on one notch, that's even probably too high. But uh, I put the black screens, it'll be too slack, so I just left them off um, on that score. Yeah, so we've got a table here in front of me which is obviously slightly younger, uh, and the rest of them are slightly older, probably maybe the parents, I don't know, I don't know who they are. But they can a few, the bar's over there. Um, I didn't see anyone bring their own drink, so uh, the two at a bar. So just background music playing. Uh, it's uh, five to eight. Once they settle down, I'll get uh, some of the songs that they want to hear, like Jim Reed, the ballads. So what I'll do is that once I've sat down, I'll start playing them ballads for the birthday girls. So they can enjoy it while they're having a meal, etc. Because I don't think a lot, certainly that table there, would have all Jim Reason was. Uh, so, yeah, so everything's all like as it is. People eating. Reason's early because it finishes at 11. So. Yeah, I feel silly now not bringing the uh, Equinox uh, any, the, the light stand. Um, I don't know what it's called now. Escape me. <laughs> It'll come to me when I not think about it as these things are. But I'm amazed that this stage is quite big, there's only one outlet, there's only one socket. It's amazing, there's nothing behind this curtain, it's just a wall. You can't see it, there's nothing over here. They have there is a little PA system here in this box, which they may do, I don't know, they may do local things like bingo or I don't know. But there's no the cupboard, there are sockets but they're being used by the Wi-Fi stuff. The um, the rulers are not touching that. And uh, yeah, the window there. So yeah, my mat's down because it's a hard floor. So I've got the entity mat, wooden floor. So that was Pat and Anne's uh, birthday celebration. 
they were twins they were 80 years old and uh, it was a surprise that I wasn't aware I forgot, I forgot to ask that question when uh, I was talking to Carol who's one of the, who's the daughter of one of the ladies um, and um, I forgot to ask her was it a surprise I only knew about it on the night but as you can see they're all waiting uh, for them to come in now it's a typical what I call a typical family do um, in respect to being a slightly older age group the hall um, I think there was about 30-ish people um, attending uh, the tables are quite spread out really and uh, it impeded um, what I would classify as the dance floor area like it, the tables are quite close to the stage so it didn't give a lot of space if people wanted to get up and have a bit of a, a bop so what actually happened was that a couple of people on different tables were standing by uh, their own tables and having a bit of a bop as long as we're having a good time um, and it was one of those nights where uh, it wasn't consistently uh, busy on the sort of like the area they allocated to the dance floor um, what I learned over the years is that when you're dealing with a slightly older age group they get a bit uh, particular what they want to uh, get up uh, and dance to uh, unlike when it's like younger they'll just have a few drinks and just be on the dance floor all the time um, yeah it was a nice little uh, gathering uh, the, the one thing that I couldn't get around around my head was the fact that 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 big that stage was quite large it was quite a big stage uh, and there's only one mains outlet I did find another one off the stage um, where I plugged one of my speakers in because it was closer uh, to that but I was a bit surprised that there wasn't more than one one socket actually uh, on the video I did say so I found a cabinet where it had all the Wi-Fi details and the password but there was a couple of routers plugged in so I didn't want to uh, interfere with that but anyway it was all I, I plugged it all in anyway I was just a bit surprised it's only only one and I forgot the new Equinox uh, Spectra Pix uh, tubes I forgot them I left them <laughs> I left them at home and uh, anyway uh, didn't really need a lot the age group was like the age group was slightly older there's one table of, of younger people in front of me uh, they were in and out all the time smoking uh, I don't know if they were vaping I don't know what they were doing uh, I do know there was a bottle of brandy on that table which I think they brought themselves hardly anyone brought any drinks themselves what I can see there were beers and wines etc supplied um, by the party organizer which I believe was a lady called uh, Carol who I dealt with and uh, well, Carol was very nice to send me an email the next day to say thank you, etc. So it was all very nice, and she left a review on the website, which is also very nice. And for the first time, somebody, one of the guests came up at the end and thanked me very much, said thank you, thank you, and said that I was on point from the beginning. Never had that expression said to me before, I was on point. I knew what she's on about, but I didn't, I've not had anyone who ever said that. But anyway, so that was Pat and Anne's um, birthday celebration, a venue I've never been to before. Um, I was lucky enough that it was only, um, well, it wasn't even 15 minutes, or if I say 12 minutes, so it was nice and handy. Uh, the hall was quite a nice a little hall, really. Uh, as you saw, there was another room off the stage where I left all my empties with a little kitchenette and toilet. Not too sure what that room's for. It's very small. Uh, it's a disabled entrance, actually. I thought when I was outside it was a completely different building, but hey-ho, I used that to exit out, so I'm not in people's way when they're folding up tables and putting away the chairs etc it finished at 11 I was out of there by quarter to 12 so it took me about 45 minutes to pack up and load up and go um, and people still doing the, the washing up because normally as you know they're hanging around waiting for you right but they're doing the washing up and they had to hang around and wait for the care what I call the caretaker or person who had to lock up they had the keys um, so yeah so that's a, an, another one uh, dealt with there's nothing else I can really say to that uh, I mentioned if you could hear me um, that the uh, the songs I got asked to play for were um, uh, Tommy Steele, um, Jim Reeves. Uh, they're the two probably the, uh, that the least least played or requested ever. Um, there were some rock and roll people uh, that it's rock and roll songs, etc. Which yeah. I were, I've probably played them. Tommy Steele, uh, it, well, it, I, play, I have played one, one of his songs many, many years ago. 
a half a sixpence, I think I played, but I've not played any others. Jim Reeves, the only reason I know about Jim Reeves is my dad used to like Jim Reeves. So uh, when Carol spoke to me at the beginning and she said her mum likes Jim Reeves, I knew automatically who Jim Reeves were, was. And I knew that he was more of a uh, country ballad singer, so I stuck them in uh, while, they were, uh, while they were eating, really. So I knew who they were. I felt sorry for the younger crew at the front because obviously they probably had no idea what was all this stuff going on. But they'd given their dues. They did join in on the old uh, uh, Macarena and DJ Casper Slow, which I played for them. Um, Dancing Queen, they joined, a few joined up. Uh, but uh, yeah, what can you do? Uh, I had a list. I saw the majority of people were the age groups. Uh, I said, there's, I think it's about 30, maybe 35, if that. Um, and it was a nice little uh gig really uh no aggro no nothing no there's no little ones uh running around or anything on this one um but anyway i'm waffling on so that was my little uh video from that gig i'll catch you on the next one which in fact is next week so i'll see you then take care